Traveling can be a really fun experience. However, sometimes you're stuck with a crying baby, and of course there's a seat right behind you. There's cramped seats, bad airline food, and loud passengers. And for those United Airlines customers, there's people that can, you know, beat you up. While there are some basic tips and necessities that you should always have handy while flying, this list will tell you the top 10 things you should never do on a plane. Let's begin our takeoff with number 10. Do not use the blankets or pillows. Why? Well, these items are not cleaned or replaced between flights. I mean, ugh, are you kidding me right now? Is this real life? They are recycled and reused and don't usually get properly washed until the day is over. So items like pillowcases and blankets are ideal places for germs and lice that can spread from person to person. I've seen people sneeze and drool on their pillows and blankets, so imagine reusing that. Yeah, I don't think so. Coming in at number nine, and drinking too much alcohol. Sometimes people will enjoy a nice glass of wine or beer or some shots, those are the hardcore people. And this, uh, you know, some people do it to take the edge off. However, alcohol can be very dehydrating. Also, planes have very low humidity and thin air, which makes the effects of alcohol hit you faster and harder. One drink in the air is like having two shots on the ground. So if you guys are drinking, just take it easy, drink slow. Buckle up, because in at number eight is this tip. Don't get ice in your drink. So most aircrafts do not serve drinking water from the tap. However, their ice cubes are still made from the same contaminated tap water. Water tanks on airplanes are old, and the water has been tested and they have discovered that the tanks contain high volumes of bacteria. Number seven, don't fall asleep before takeoff. Sleeping before the takeoff can have some negative impacts on your ears. If you fall asleep for takeoff, it will be harder for you to equalize the pressure in your ears in which you would do more quickly if you're awake or if you're like chewing gum or if you do a big yawn. Also, if you are more prone to getting headaches while flying, you should hold off from sleeping until your ears have popped and then you can go to sleep. Prepare for some turbulence. Oh, this is going to be a bumpy one. And at number six, don't sit for the entire time. When you fly, you're at your highest risk of developing deep vein thrombosis, which is a type of blood clot that usually forms in your legs. So in order to prevent this, walking around the cabin for a few minutes or standing up to, you know, ah, oh, to, to stretch, it can help you a lot. I know it helps me a lot. I just get, I get so stiff. Also, don't wear tight or restrictive clothing that has the potential to cut off your circulation. And always remember to always move your feet at least once per hour. Just shuffle it on the floor. Next up, number five, don't touch the flush button in the bathroom. In fact, I, I've never flushed the toilet with my bare hands. It's always like paper towel and then flush or like my foot or something like that. It's so secret that washrooms is a highly prone to harboring, you know, nasty germs and bacteria. So in order to protect yourself, you should wash your hands and like after you're washing your hands wash your hands again or you're gonna have to like just burn them because there's so much bacteria in bathrooms use a towel paper towel to flush the toilet and then use it to open the door that's what I do if you just want to avoid all of this don't turn off your air vents which makes its way onto this list at number four keep them open a lot of people get cold on their flight so they you know they like to turn it off however the smarter thing to do is put on another layer of clothing because doctors recommend that the air vents over your seat could always be set to medium or high so that any airborne germs can just be be blown away before entering your personal space. The air vent can also prevent your skin from drying out. Walking barefoot steps its way into number three. Things happen on planes, you know, people vomit, they bleed, they sneeze, they spill stuff, and then you can only imagine like what kind of germs would be on the floor. I mean, there's so many viruses and bacteria just lingering inside of planes. This doesn't seem to phase people because some people continue to walk barefoot on the floor. I mean, I don't clean my shoes and I'd probably step in dog poop, I'm sure, from time to time. So if you go barefoot, you're stepping in the dog poop that I stepped in last week. Okay, don't eat anything that's fallen off the tray table, and this makes its way into this list number two. Yeah, so that's right, the tray table does not get sterilized between flights, so unless you brought some Lysol wipes, don't eat that peanut that has fallen, you know, onto the, the tray table, off of your, your clean container, or just whatever you're being served on a plate. So don't take the risk, it's just one peanut, just throw it away. <laughs> don't be like, three second roll. <laughs> Some people even change their baby's diapers on those tables. So now you got baby poop. You got you got dog poop on the floor. You got baby poop 
on, on these airplane tables that are just so tiny, and when someone in front of you leans back, it like throws off your food. One study found that trays harbor an average of 2,155 units of bacteria per square inch. Damn. Finally, we are landing in number one. Do not refrain from using the toilets. We can all admit that airplane bathrooms aren't exactly luxurious or clean for that matter. Some people will hold in their urine for the duration of their trip just to avoid using these dirty washrooms. However, holding in your urine is not a good thing for your kidneys and keeping urine in your bladder for a long period of time can cause you to have bladder infections and uh, yeah simply Sid that's not fun stuff well there you guys have it thank you guys so much for watching this and you guys know what not to do on planes now you're welcome